Hey folks, good guy Glenn here, and welcome back to Spooky Jeep. Today is part two in the headliner saga. The last video we did, we uh, took the headliner out. I showed you how I got that done in about 30 minutes last Friday. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to strip down all the foam off of the headliner board and see if we could paint it in case we decide to put it back in the Jeep. I'm still up in the air about that. Um, my friend Bill from Alpine Towing, shout out to Alpine Towing in New Milford, New Jersey, um, told me that the Jeep would get hot without the headliner, and it does indeed get hot. But when I run the windows open, it's not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the headliner, I'm gonna paint it, and then I'm gonna put it in storage. So when winter comes, if the Jeep is cold, or if I just wind up not liking having the bare metal, I still have the headliner board to put back in. All right, here's the situation. We have this headliner set up here. I've got the scuzz brush, scuzz brush bulkhead. Up scuzz brush bulkhead eyes, sir. We've got the shop vac that we're gonna leave running to suck it up. And of course, we're going to wear a mask so we're not sucking up this stuff. Don't forget this headliner is made out of fiberglass. You don't want that in your lungs, trust me. Years of hanging rotten cotton, I can tell you for a fact, it's no good for you. All right, so let's get to it.
So we got it all stripped down to the bare fiberglass. And we're ready to try to test some Rhino liner on it. See how it comes out, what it looks like. Maybe we'll do the whole thing. Now we're gonna paint it with some Duplicolor bed liner. I used a Duplicolor bed liner to paint almost everything on the Jeep. Um, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, it's not that great. It uh, has to be redone every season or so. It flakes off, it doesn't stick well, especially at the plastic parts. Part of that's my fault. I don't prep the plastic parts very well. Uh, especially the plastics on the bottom of the ZJ on the doors. I don't like the way they look, but you can't take them off. I mean, you can, but there's so much cosmetic mayhem going on underneath those plastics. It's best to just paint them and keep them on the truck. Plus it provides a certain amount of protection if you're driving it off-road through the brush. Shake it up. Remove the cap. And we're gonna do a little test part. See how it comes out. Oop, too close. Let that dry for a couple minutes. Now I speak from a lot of experience. You should always wear a mask when using this paint and use more than a bandana. Use a mask. This stuff is nasty. If it gets into your lungs, it's fibrous. It's not like other spray paint, not like other spray paint is great, but just for safety's sake, you should wear a mask. So the good and bad thing is this is fiberglass. So it's gonna suck the paint in, but that means we're gonna have to coat it a whole bunch of times. I'm just trying to seal up the fiberglass, make it one color. And the thing is, I'm probably not even gonna put this back in the Jeep. Right now, I'm running without a headliner and I'm kind of liking it. Uh, I do notice that the AC could be completely in my mind. I feel like the AC gets cooler, probably is in my mind, but I'm not having a problem. It, it does get hot if the truck sits in the uh, sun and I get in it, it's very hot. But I roll the windows down and drive a couple blocks with the windows down and it's cool. just not feeling it. With the fiberglass already being textured and then adding a textured paint over it, I just don't know. I mean, I'm gonna wait and see how it looks dry, but we're already $60 in paint into this. The Duplicolor bed liner is like almost $20 a can. I 
probably get it cheaper online, but I knew it was gonna suck in, but I didn't know like just how much it was gonna suck in. And um, I think we're gonna cut this one short, seeing that this is just going to storage anyway. And with, you know, build back better going on, it's really uh, expensive and I could be putting $60 in the gas tank instead of wasting it to put it in storage. So I think we're gonna finish up with this for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so when I drop another video, you get a notification. Once again, this is Good Guy Glenn with Spooky Jeep. Thanks for watching.